Today, I am adding features to my autonomous drone from my last video. I am adding image recognition for the purpose of controlling my drone via what it sees. I still had my Raspberry Pi Zero, but it wasn't powerful enough nor could it accommodate the Raspberry Pi module camera. So I used the Raspberry Pi 4 to operate TensorFlow object recognition with the camera. For this current phase, I am still using my old Raspberry Pi Zero which has Mavic installed so it could communicate to the flight controller. Of course, later I will only be using the Raspberry Pi 4 for both image recognition and Mavlink. It works as follows. There are two programs running. Program 1 is on the Pi 4, running TensorFlow. When the code is run, it analyzes the camera feed. If it detects a specific object, in this case a bottle, it writes a 1 into a file on the Raspberry Pi 0 using Paramico. If not found, it writes a 0. Program 2 is on the Pi 0, communicating to the flight controller with Mavlink. Program 2 reads the file, and depending on if it reads a 1 or a 0, it does a different behavior. The following clip demonstrates the file updating based on seeing a bottle or not. The shell part is the Pi 0, and the code part is the Pi 4. For the second phase, I have it so it's all live updated. The setup is as follows. The camera is facing the bottle, the laptop is to access the shells on both Pies to launch the programs, and there is the drone. To execute, I run both programs simultaneously. Program 1 still looks at the camera feed, but it's now under a while loop, so it updates the file continuously. Program 2 also got a new while loop. It checks the file Program 1 is writing to, and spins the respective pro propeller while updating. If it's a 1, it turns a yellow propeller. If it reads a 0, it turns a black propeller. The reason we are at 0 frames per second is because we are writing a file from one pi to another repeatedly, which is a slow process. Thank you for watching.